Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Days. Today, we're going to take some of this pretty shard and make a salad. This, the stems are awesome in a salad as well as the leaves. So I'm going to take the three of those. And let me show you what I found. Look in there. The radish. So I'm going to take this out and then we'll be... Um, see how big? Nice radish. That's good for salads. We're going to take several of the leaves off here. That goes in our salad. Several of the garlic chives. They're right here beside the green stalk. I'm going to get a few carrots to add to my salad. I cooked some of these fresh last night. You see, this size is perfect. I need about three or four of them. Those are perfect for a salad. Now, in my greenhouse, I'm not touching Danny's onions. I have these onion chives here, and I'm going to take some of those along with my carrots. And y'all, I'm fixing to pick some green peas. We're going to put some of those in my salad. If you've never added green peas to your salad, oh my. They are awesome. Just shell them out. There's some along in here that are ready. All you need is a, about five or six, seven ready peas and they make an awesome salad oh my guess what the salad is going to be fantastic while we're at it I'm gonna take a couple of pieces of the um, kale to add in because kale is awesome in a salad and the stems are too because these are really tender leaves right here and if you want some really good leaves you can chop up these um, broccoli leaves i'm gonna find a smaller broccoli leaf and take it and i'm gonna snitch one of these cabbage leaves out of here i think that'll work good we've got carrots onion chives cabbage broccoli kale carrots i got a tomato that's turning what do you think along with the stuff I just took out of the green stalk, lunch. Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Days. I'm Wanda, and today we're going to talk about what are you going to eat. So if you can't go to the grocery store and you don't have things stocked up, or you've run out of whatever you got stocked up, what are you going to eat? Danny and I over on Deep South Homestead are always talking about the greenhouses, growing things outside, growing things in containers, whatever you can do. We've been telling you for years, grow something. So today I went outside. This is January um, 16th, 17th, 18th. I don't even know what day it is. Um, deep South, it don't matter what day it is, right? Um, I picked all these things. Look how colorful. I mean, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Simply awesome looking. I've got all kinds of leaves here from kale, broccoli, cabbage, romaine, and chard. The chard has the red stems or orangish red stems in it. Then I've got peppers from Danny's Greenhouse that I picked yesterday, so they were on here. I've got a radish. I've got garlic chives. I've got onion chives. I've got my carrots fresh from in our yard and a tomato. So if you're going to eat fresh, this is a salad, but it gives you some nutrition. It gives you something going into your body. Lots of times people don't think about what they're going to eat if they don't have anything in a cabinet. Garlic chives and onion chives, those type things, garlic and onion bulbs, you got them in your yard. If you can grow them in pots, you can grow them in raised beds, you can anything, containers, whatever you've got going, raise some garlic and onions. You can make a soup. It might not have anything but garlic and onion. But you got a soup, water, garlic, onions, add it to it. You get some kind of nutrition, some health benefits from it. Look up garlic and onions. They're great. 
I tell people all the time, you're not going to starve if you can keep something in your yard or in your flower beds or on your patio. You saw, I had a green stalk. The green stalks are amazing. I've managed to grow a few things and now I've got strawberries. Soon I will have a couple of strawberries. It's not like I'm going to be eating strawberries every day. I realize that. But to be able to walk out and have something growing every day of the year is amazing. Our goal here at Deep South is to have something we can eat fresh 365 days a year. With the greenhouses, the green stalk, the gardens, the fruit trees, all that's possible. It is possible to eat something fresh 365 days a year. I challenge each one of you, go outside today, see what you can find. What do you have growing? Check it out. If you can't go to the grocery store or your pantry is dry, you have nothing left, what are you gonna eat? Think about it, guys. This is just my way of saying, hey, look, you can grow this. These things are not hard to grow. You can grow something leafy, like I said, the onions and garlic. You get them started, you can't kill them usually. And I have people all the time say, well, I killed it. Well, I don't know what you did to kill it because garlic chives is almost impossible to kill. Um, we've got them everywhere. Um, so think about it. What are you going to eat? That's all I'm asking. What are you going to eat? I've got a salad today. Um, what about meat? What are you going to eat meat-wise? We have chickens and cows. Everything else we've gotten rid of over the years and limited it to chickens and cows. As long as you have cows on hoof, that that's easy. They're not in a freezer. They're not taking up jars. They're not taking up any space. They're on hoof. So if it comes down to it, you need meat, you have cows. Not saying that everybody can uh, has enough land for cows, but we do have enough land for a few. Chickens, if they're out there in your yard running around eating and things like that, eating the bugs and eating the leaves and the stuff off the weeds, they're not taking up a lot of space. They're not doing any harm. You're not having to feed them other stuff. And if you need meat, you can take one chicken along. Especially if you have a hen and a rooster, they keep reproducing. You don't want to just have 500 chickens run around eventually. You want to take, cull the chickens out ever so many months. Just my way of telling you, there are ways to have something to eat 365 days a year. So guys, I'm gonna fix me a cup of Ticino, vanilla nut, and I'm gonna sit down and enjoy it. Fix my salad for in about an hour, hour and a half, we're gonna have lunch. And y'all, I hope you have a great day and think about it. I challenge each one of you, what are you gonna eat every day is there something in your yard, something in your garden, something in your greenhouse? Go look every day. Say, what would I eat if I had nothing else? Ask yourself this question every day for the next month and see what happens. See how well you do. And let me know in the comments, what all can you get out of your yard today? See you later. Thank you from Crazy Days.